Our next match, our only championship match. I quit for and the... And the only women's match on the card, too. This is true. SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair defending against Ronda Rousey. This was great. Oh, it was. The story. I also loved the ending where uh, Charlotte was saying no, and then I hope you would have said that, bitch. Oh, money, money, money. This God. was... It's like, happy Mother's Day, and then <laughs> Ronda's like, I hope you say that, bitch. <laughs> this was so amazing on pretty much every level. God, I feel like this has been the WrestleMania that we wanted but didn't get. Right. There were there were matches here that just saved for this for some reason. And I was like, this would have been match of the year. I mean, a lot of you might be match of the year mm -hmm. quality. This women's match, though, I'm telling you, people are like, oh, what do you say Charlotte Flair is one of the best women's wrestlers ever because of this? Yeah. She made Ronda Rousey. Now, Ronda Rousey's good. Don't get me wrong. But Charlotte Flair made her look like she was A the killer. Dollars, oh, yeah. Right. But Ronda Rousey is now the SmackDown Women's Champion. First time. That was ob it was obvious that was going to happen, but yep. it needed to happen. Yep. Um, Charlotte Flair is on such a different level mm -hmm. on women's wrestling. It's fucking crazy. And this was so awesome. Number one, this was two thumbs up. A oh, hundred yeah. million percent. And also, this should have been the match at WrestleMania. It was it was the best and the worst women's match of the night. <laughs> because it was the only one. Hooray! <laughs> All right, let's make this shipment just again. Pina Gallery. Let's start with our first one on my list. Bobby Lashley. Excuse me, Bobby Lashley and Omas. Omas needs some work. Yep. But I'm, I'm not going to deny that Omas... Needs some development in terms of the ring awareness, especially, um, and his 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 talking. His skills. his 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 move set is getting a lot better. Yes, he is improving. There is a very marketable improvement. Yep. Um, I think him doing the very minimal promo work is really benefiting him. Mm -hmm. Um, not because he is bad at promos, but the fact that he is a giant, and mm -hmm. giants usually don't talk. Right. Now he is very imposing, and is. there is there is some speed with the guy. There is. I I wrote him off, but he's getting better. He is getting marketably better. And I here's my issue. I think they put him on such a different stage than I think he was ready for. Yeah. He's a lot younger than a lot of people think. I think he's only in his twenties. He's like twenty four. Yeah, he's really young. So keep that in mind. Him with MVP is perfect. Lashley did not need MVP, but Omas definitely does. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy that they actually made that change. I would have, maybe I would have done that WrestleMania match or WrestleMania backlash instead. We're gonna we're gonna have that a lot because there are a lot of these matches that were better at WrestleMania backlash than at actual WrestleMania. Exactly. This one, um, I'm happy that they waited until WrestleMania backlash yes. to do. Um, obviously the rivalry with McIntyre needed to end. And I yep. think, um, they actually did some good moments with WrestleMania to actually lead up to this match. So yeah, Moss is a star in the making, man. They do. They just need to get rid of this page boy. Like, oh, they gimmick. will, but, but he is definitely developing as a character. And I really enjoy, I, actually, you know what? I think, I think, I think happy Corbin's actually showing a lot of dimension with yeah. this rivalry too. I actually like Happy Corbin more with mm -hmm. this rivalry than not. So actually, there was a great benefit to this. I really wouldn't have done anything necessarily different. No, nope, not really. Um, and also, number one, the promo packages really helped with context. It did. And I think that's what you really liked. Because I you did. don't watch the show every week I don't like watch I do. The, I don't watch the shows. This was awesome. Awesome. A great, a great dimensional building. Better than the WrestleMania and, match. Right. And also, well, I did like the WrestleMania match, but at the same time, I feel like AJ should have won one of these. I think it would have been better use of the same thing. Like when Rhea Ripley attacked AJ and then have him and then have, you know, her being revealed as being part of Judgment Day, have AJ Styles win at Mania. Mm hmm with some bullshit, have Damian Priest attack him under like a hood or something and join it the way that it happened there, mm -hmm. we would have been talking about a different situation. Yeah. Because now it's like, okay, you're continuing a story where AJ won, or AJ lost twice. Edge won both matches. What's right. the point now? Yeah. But uh, Rhea Ripley joining Judgment Day, perfect. Perfect, 
perfect in every way. I just need a tag team, and then it'll be good. But right now, awesome. I think it just fits so well. Yeah, it's like awesome. She like she doesn't she doesn't have to do anything different. No, she has a new look, which needed to happen. And I, I think they're committed to the Ray Ripley heel turn, which is exactly what they needed to do yeah, to really no, put herself in a different a position. Team like Alpha Academy. <clears throat> That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, there was a lot to unpack here. I liked the match. But at the same time, if you were going to stick with a certain match, commit to it. Nope. Nope. And that was a problem for me. Yep. Told you, weakest match on the card. Nope. It wasn't, it wasn't the weakest match on the card for me. I think um, despite me liking some stuff about the other one, I think Bobby Lashley and Omas's was the weakest match on the card. I think this one was stronger than some of them, but I can see why you believe. This, this match had the weakest story going into it. I can see that. The, the, very much the weakest now, story. Now, here's, here's the issue, and I think they should have waited for this match to be on a regular show, but they started storylines with this, and you don't start a storyline on a pay-per-view. You end a storyline. Yep. At a pay-per-view or a premium live event. It's a premium live event. I don't even know what a p- pay-per-view is. Peanut Gallery, I literally... For the show for NWA and literally for Triple Mania, I had to buy it. So <laughs> What's a pay-per-view? <laughs> <laughs> this was great. I thought this match overall in context was actually even better than the one at WrestleMania. Yep, it was. Because, number one, they actually added more context to the seriousness right. of this. And then also, I just thought they wrestled a better match. Yeah, they did. They wrestled a better match. There was a better, a better match. There was a better story. Yeah. And they're, they're going to continue with this story. Once again, why did Cody Rhodes have to win twice? And then also, I mean, even if Seth Rollins won, have him win some bullshit like it's not legitimate. And then right. nobody would have cared. Right. Then you end it on a good note at uh, Hell in a Cell. Right. But and whatever. I'm, I'm actually okay with it, though, because they had good promos. Yeah. They promoted it really well. and I think, I think the Miz at some point is going to get involved. I think so, too. Because it sounds like he's hinting at that. So. Yeah, well, he has to do something here. And let's talk about our final one. This was so fucking awesome. It I was. wish this should have been the Mania match. This should have been the Mania match. And it's so disappointing that they didn't do that. Because, well, number one, it... <sighs> I, 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 once again, I'm thinking about like more like losses of opportunity than right. winners. Uh, number one, Ronda Rousey should have faced Becky at Mania. And then also, did we ever have a Charlotte Flair versus Bianca Belair match? I don't think we ever had. That would have been awesome. Both of them actually come from very similar backgrounds. That'd yeah, been cool. But, you know, we're all we're all we're all leading up to the fake but I, but title I, unification but, of uh, but here's the thing. But but here's the thing. I will say these two wrestled exactly how they should have. And very he, no. Well, yeah. But also very brawly, very unhinged, and I thought there was good story. Now there was an indication with Drew Gulak with this rivalry, and I would have loved some interaction with Gulak with this match, but they didn't. Now, it didn't take away from the quality. It took away from the story, not maybe not the quality. Oh, you know what I hate about this match? I hated how um, the, the, uh, the, the uh, uh, referee had that little stupid fucking uh, uh, microphone. They did that for all I Quit matches. I know, but Jesus Christ. No, no, that's fine because that they they Well, literally... no, what they, what they did, though, was they actually used the microphone as, like, other lines of dialogue and... No, I actually liked that dynamic. You liked that? I mm-hmm. did not like that at all. I did. I actually liked that dynamic. No. Is I, wrong, I really you're you're wrong. Nope. So here's here's why I liked it because we wouldn't have heard of I I hope you answered it that way, bitch. There was there was good stuff with that. I know, but they could have they could have the, enhanced the sound on that too. They well the problem was that it wouldn't have been good for the live fans. And I think what they did here was they added to the story within the match very subtly with the microphone because the microphone was but already they, but involved. They wanted to cater to the live fans too. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, and because they've always done that. Now keep in mind. Now uh, think of think of a classic I Quit match between The Rock and Mick Foley. They had the microphone. Oh, I know. 
I know they had the microphone. But it like, was it was it was story. But, but I had, but it was I had, it was it was I had, story I had edition. Problem, I had a problem with the fact that the referee just gave it to whoever wanted to talk. You know what I mean? It, just, it was it was it was story progression. It, even even within the context of the match, I thought it worked. Oh whatever. All but right. but well, here's the thing. I'm not gonna argue. No no, here's the thing. I can see why you were frustrated by it, but I think they did it in a great way here. I don't know. I still think I I I mean overall the quality of the match was excellent. Yeah. And I think that's really all that matters. People were chanting, "This was awesome." The back and forth, everything was really good, right. and the crowd was really into it. So overall, this was good. I just really wish this wasn't the only fucking title match. That was oh, annoying. I don't have a problem with that. I do. I had a problem with this. Well, of course you did. I did. You have a problem with everything. Have have a Raw Women's Champion match. Like no, tomorrow. Bianca Belair is, is a nobody. <sighs> Ow. Anyways. That's, that's mean as shit. Anyway, so next week... There is no pay-per-view for the next, like, two weeks. Yeah, so we we'll, got to figure out what we're doing. It's TBD. Hopefully, we fucking get on camera. I know. Hey, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know that the camera was having an issue until literally 20 minutes before the show happened. That's true. So, so that's why that kind of happened. So when we come back, we will most likely have camera. Don't hold your breath. but We will you know. have camera, and I will be holding my breath, and you are going to enjoy it. Excellent, I think. So, uh, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe, follow, become a patron. Uh, give uh, pen- give Tiger Height a fucking thesaurus because apparently I cannot speak. Yep. And uh, if you think I cannot speak, remember to subscribe to the channels and share so with that your we friends. So that we can afford a dictionary. Yes. And as always, be majestic.